Hey there, it's the shooting guy. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you are a subscriber, it's all about you. Thank you so much. If you're just stopping by, consider subscribing. And we do thank you for choosing to watch our place today. Well, Priority Mail. We've been getting a lot of stuff uh, going on at the Shooting Guy compound. And uh, you've probably seen a few things rolling out by the time you see this one. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. There's a lot of things that we've been doing. Anyway, I wanted to bring something today that was a little bit unique. We don't normally do this kind of thing, but I wanted to share this with you. Came in the mail, nicely wrapped. Can you guess what it is already? Uh, there it is. Look at that. What does that say? Piranha USA. Piranha knife? Wait a minute. Piranha knife? Why are you getting a piranha knife? Would you look at this though? Very nice. Comes in its nice little presentation bag. I'm thoroughly impressed. Here's the story, folks. Shooting Kid has been asking for one of these for a long time, and there's a very special occasion that's coming up. And now by the time you see this, I'm doing this a little bit ahead of time so that he doesn't know that I have it. Um, and I don't ruin the surprise. Uh, there's a very special event coming up. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. This is a lot nicer than uh, any of the pictures give it credit for. It comes with a, let's see, it comes with a Predator. Uh, wow, that's really nice. Ni nice presentation, guys. Predator, uh, Piranha, excuse me. Nice, nice presentation. I like that. But there's a special occasion coming up, and I wanted to be able to surprise him with this uh, because he's been asking for it. He said, you know, Dad, can I get a... Can I get this uh, great knife? It's called a Piranha Predator, and I wanted it in desert camo, and uh, I took a look at it, did my research, and I went, you know what, this is a pretty nice little knife, it seems like. Um, a little pricey than maybe some of the things that we normally do around here, I'll let you know right off the bat. It was 165 bucks. Um, so I had to make sure, is this thing really gonna be worth 165 bucks? And uh, through my research, I determined, yeah. Well, first off, it's my son. It's the shooting kid. Is he worth 165 bucks? Yeah, of well, of course he is. But would this knife um, level up to uh, his expectations, my expectations, um, as a really nice knife? And after looking at it now, this is actually the first time I, uh, I've seen one close up. I like it. Would you look at that? I'll give you. I'll roll some detail on there so you can see it. But uh, I'm liking it. Now, what's unique about this knife? It's an auto knife. Look at that. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. What a wicked looking blade. Now I'm trying to keep this a secret, <laughs> so uh, you won't be seeing this until after he sees it, but uh, maybe I'll get, a, uh, get some video of his reaction when, he, when I present it to him. Uh, let's run through and uh, take a look at the specs. Blade length, 4.1 inches. It's a pretty good sized blade. Overall blade thickness, 0.125. Yeah, it's about an eighth inch thick. The handle is 6061 T6 Type 3 Hard Coat Anodized Aircraft Alloy. It's aluminum, aluminum, aluminum guys. Some sort of aluminum, aluminum alloy. Overall length, 9.15 inches. Size closed, 5.1 inches. That pocket clip is titanium. Cool. The blade material is CPM S30V. Nice steel. According to this, the hardness rating is 60 to 61 on the Rockwell scale. Wow, that's a tough blade. Weight, 4.0 ounces. The hardware, that is the springs, the pins, the buttons, and the screws, all stainless steel. Wow, guys, I'm impressed. It's rather lightweight. I mean, for such a large knife, I mean, when it's fully open, oof, that's nice. When it's fully open, it's a little over 9 inches long. But for 4 ounces, it doesn't feel like a very heavy knife at all. Um, in my hand, it fits really good. Note the jimping on there. Um, it's adequate. It's got a nice ramp. Not sure what that hole is designed to do, except for maybe lighten the blade up a little bit. Um, you don't need to finger open it. You can't because it's a, well, it's an auto knife. You've got to press the button to do all that. And uh, it, it's locked. That thing's not going to open up until you press that button. And take a look at the button. Nicely uh, machined and knurled. Stainless steel button. Hmm. And everything else inside is all stainless steel. Nice cap screws. I like that. You know, uh, I get a little bit of grip going on back here. Nicely done. Um, some jimping in the finger grooves here. Nicely done. Loving the knife, guys. Just loving the presentation and loving to look at it. Is it a playing knife? I mean, a fondling knife. Uh, just one that you just like to 
close and open and close and absolutely. Boy, that's a lot of fun to do. Now I know why shooting kid wants one of these. It's just fun. Look at that. Hmm. Is it sharp out of the box? Let's find out. Holy smoke. Thank you, Piranha. You guys made it sharp right out of the box. That just says you appreciate the attention to a lot of details. Thank you. Mmm, nice. Now, is this a collector's item? Mmm, I would say yes. And why? Because it is a unique blade. Unique knife. Um, it, you know, all of these are all made to the same spec. The blade itself, um, the contour, you know, and they have many models. So uh, the Predator is merely one of the models, and it's, you know, so from uh, within the model line, they all s look very similar. But what's unique is the anodization and the, uh, um, this particular paint job is very unique from, from blade to blade, from knife to knife, which is kind of nice, and it kind of sets it apart. There is not another one just exactly like this, which I kind of like. I think that's why Shooting Kid liked it. It was unique. That, and it's an auto blade. Um, I think that uh, makes it a collectible. Am I going to go out and throw it around and stick it in wood and do all that? Mm -hmm, probably not. It's a gift to my son. I'm going to uh, let him make that decision if he wants to do that or not. Um, but I will tell him uh, how nice this knife is. I think he knows that, though. I don't think I have to tell him much. Made in the USA. Uh, that alone, folks, uh, even for $165, made in the USA, very nice. Uh, as I understand, they're all hand-assembled. And, uh, you know, the parts are all come off the machine. The handle, though, is a little unique because the paint job is unique from, from uh, blade to blade. But they, they hand put all these things together. And I kind of like that. And they're all hand tested. There's, a, there's an interesting kind of lube that's in there. It's kind of a brown silicon lube that keeps everything nice and lubed, <laughs> I guess. Uh, very good. Wow, guys. It's good. Now, are there any uh, cons to this knife? You know, I just told you all the pros. Are there any cons to this knife? Just at the first opening, I'd say the only thing is it's not the speediest opener in the world. I mean, when I press the button, does it come out? Yeah, and it's fairly fast, but uh, there's some other knives that are a little faster in deployment. But again, huh, that's just a nit, I think, for the beauty and the quality of this knife. If you're going to order yourself one of these, make sure you know about your local laws. I've done the research in my particular area. I'm okay to own one of these, but because it's a auto knife, uh, there may be some restrictions in your area. You need to do the research yourself. Find out for yourself how you can uh, get yourself one of these, if you can, and where you can use it. All right? Yeah, just take a look down below in the comment section. You'll see a link to where you might be able to purchase one of these things. That's where I got it from. I just wanted to share that with you. Well, that's all I have for you today. Uh, something unique, something special and uh, I'm liking it. Great that it has this little presentation bag. I like that. Just that this had this in there and the box and everything. It just says, uh, you know, they, they like the fact that they make knives there at Piranha and uh, they want their presentation to be good. I appreciate that a lot. The, the logo is pretty cool. Um, wow. I'm thinking shooting kids really gonna like this. He's gonna have to mow a lot of lawns. <laughs> no, it's a special occasion, like I say, and my kid is well worth uh, more than this, certainly. But uh, I'm sure he's gonna love it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Get out there, enjoy the outdoors, get yourself a piranha knife if you want, but uh, above all things, have fun, be safe. God bless you, God bless America, may America bless God. Here's to you, shooting kid. I love you. Sixty sixty one T six Type three hard coat anodized aircraft alloy. Let's try that again.